And now it's time to test the Barracudas in both 25 and 22 caliber. Now in 25 caliber these come in only one head size. They weigh 2 grams or 30.86 grain. And I must say I really hope that these are going to perform well out of my gun with that very nice weight. As for these pellets in 22 caliber, you can get H&N Barracudas or H&N Barracudas match. The difference is that the Barracuda match, what we have for testing today, come in different head sizes. This particular tin is in 5.51 mm. That's the group that I had with the Barracuda March in 25 caliber at 50 meters or 55 yards with a velocity of 900 feet per second. Could have been much better, I agree. That's about 35 millimeters center to center. You've got three shots in this raggedy hole right here. I think I can do better with time with this pellet with the Cuban K1 25 caliber. And that's the group that we shot with the Barracuda March 5.51 millimeters at 50 meters 55 yards that's five shots again at 900 feet per second center to center we have about 33 millimeters okay let's cut the block of clay the Barracudas in 22 caliber went all the way through it Yeah, I wouldn't say that it's an impressive amount of damage, but still, the channel right here is kind of wide. And now let's see the damage on the block of clay by the Barracuda March in 25 caliber. Okay, man, that should be enough. Okay, we didn't cut it so well, but right here, I'd say that the channel is quite wide. Okay, I'm off to the post office. I ordered some Barracudas March 552 and apparently they arrived. That's one of the boxes. The label at the back says head size 552 millimeter. Now let's head to the range and see how they perform. All right. I didn't put the target at the center of the screen so that you can also see the readings of the caliper tool. I think that was a very nice group, 5 shots, 50 meters or 55 yards. That's a little over 16 millimeters center to center, even if you include this shot, which may have been a flyer. Oh, and a piece of lead right here. Consider this one a flyer, it's only 10 millimeters center to center. We really started gaining the trust of the management. They gave us access to the far side of the warehouse. I even have a remote control for today, and it's for this door right there. This time I got a folding chair on my own to put my gear on. Just look how filthy the floor is. I don't even want to put my air tank on it. I'm sure a lot of you would wonder what the heck that is. It's just a little something that I quickly fashioned in the field to protect the bottle of my gun. Uh, this one is gonna stay there, I assume. Okay. Now uh, this one almost left.
guess which one I'm going to shoot. No, this one is going to remain up there. Oh yeah, I got him in the head. And that was a nice headshot. I would also like to take the opportunity to say thank you to John Leone for giving me the idea to crop the images in black and white. No moving target. I know the Barracuda match is a normal diabolic pellet, but still look at the devastation it causes upon impact. Ooh, another whitey. Now these, I think, nest up there. Wow, that was a pretty loud bang. Yeah, that's a bad case of an exploded crop. Oh, what beautiful colors. There you go. Got him. Man, a lot of these stay up there on those concrete beams. And then after a while, when the corpses dry out, they fall down. And we have problems with the management. They say that we don't collect all the carcasses. Now this is going to be interesting. I have to squeeze in a shot through those bars and through that wire fence. Hmm, a clean kill. Uh, that right there was a shot at at least 60 degree angle. <coughs> no, I don't know if you saw that, that was quite a plunge. I got him almost in flight. And of course my personal favorite at this spot. A secure backstop and ample light.
Yeah, and this one, the pellet entered right here in the chest and went all the way through its body, making quite a mess at the back. Got him. I think I got him in the head, yeah. And that's a young one, no doubt. Oh, with this one we even have some grain spilled out of its neck. Ah, gotcha. Good. Oh, this was like speed silhouette shooting. No, just look at this. Pigeons, kind creatures. Oh my god, just look at that. This one is absolutely strong and healthy male. It was stuck right here. It was trying to go underneath the door. Now, what should I do with you? Now, this is going to be your first and final warning. Should you come back, and I know you will. I'm gonna get you next time. I wonder if she would help herself to one. Looks a little skittish. Nah, I'm way too close. Nothing's gonna happen until I get away from it. Oh, just as it prepared to fly away. Hey, 
Fresh pigeons, you stupid cat. Come on. Yes, I would say that these pellets performed great today. Just check this out. Some more over there. And over there. A lot more here too. Damn. Always some of those landing on the pulse. Oh, just look at this. It's a pretty big hole. Yeah. Eggshells, eggshells, some more eggshells. A nice neck shot. Exit wound. Oh, that must have been one hell of a landing. I'm walking in the grain. So, what do you think, guys? Do I have a chance in show business or should I simply stick to shooting?